I would normally say evening, but this is YouTube, so it could be anytime. So good anytime, everyone. Uh, this is probably going to be the last part of this chapter because time is not our friend this evening as we record this live on Twitch with Lost Without a Trace, Scorched Ace, Ari Cypress Everly, Grey Main Gaming, and more than 56. So, uh, in our last episode, the crew at Fountain View were suddenly alerted in their heads by a alarm horn, uh, and then heard Marcus say, we've got company. I didn't do enough baking for more company. No. So, don't think not that, that kind of company, company Twiggy. Twiggy. Um, let's. <laughs> I got them also trained. Yeah, her case is applicable either way. <laughs> let's switch to Alexander business. models. <clears throat> and we are going to start a big old schmoz. Schmoz? And go right into as soon as I find it rolling for initiative for everything. There we go. Oh, initiative. Encounter started. So we should roll for initiative. That's yes. I'll find it. Click on your model. Or no. Oh, my model. You don't click on your models. You have in the upper right-hand corner a little should be crossed swords icon, I think. Oh, yeah, that one that doesn't tell me it just rolled. <laughs> right. Don't roll it 20 times this time. Oh, I didn't roll so good. I never roll so good. And you don't have to fair with with his initiative it's kind of funny oh it did that thing again how do i get off of there we go okay that worked good to know um and there's the last one okay so now let me throw a ton of dice good guys hey. bad guys and other guys I was tempted to take the alert feed just so I could say I have a plus 15 initiative. Oh my god. I mean, there's a feat that you can take to be able to roll an initiative with advantage. There is that too. The other benefit to the alert feed is that I can never be surprised. Yeah. I'm gonna need more food because it's a food fight. Yeah. Okay. Here for the food fight. So. It is currently nighttime, which means you should be able to only see what you can see, which should not be a lot. I see the room. That's true, because we're in a room. Yeah. Um. Oh, does that mean I need to know my movement? Uh... <laughs> tons. <laughs> Your movement is tons. Um. From where you are, I don't believe you can currently see anything that's happening. So as initiatives come up, as you guys discover anything, I will let you know what you discover. Okay. Starting off is going to be Marcus. I don't even remember where the front door is. Uh, the front door is right where my marker is right now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we have a lot of around to get to. Yeah. That part. Oh, it's going to take us around just to get outside. Um, oh, I hope Polly's okay. Um, Marcus shoots through the window. Is it an open window or do we hear a... It, it, it was a previously broken window and he makes sure to shoot in a way that doesn't break it any further. Okay, so we don't hear this. Correct. Okay. Hear the thump of the bowstring. Oh, I should 
set those to public roles. Because I was on private roles for other things. Um... So he hits, doing 12 points of damage to a target that you can't see. We don't know about. <laughs> the stream know about it? So the stream knows about it. Do, but, okay. Yes, that guy right there. So, so, second. Yeah, yeah. Out the door, to the right. Is that a doorway or a window? Um, Out the door and to the right, right here. Yes. That is a window, but it is a window large enough that you could make a smash exit if you so chose. Gotcha. I and I mean, sure. you know, we know that Alexander has mending, so it's not the worst problem. Well, we don't know. I mean, he, he tried on that and it didn't work. The amount of broken stuff in this uh, small house means the mending hasn't happened too terribly much. Well, you also don't want to show it off too much, you know what I mean? That's... He wanted to, to look run down so people bypass it. Alright, Cass, you are up. Uh um... I didn't see Cass. Alright, what's going on? You're... Where are idea? you? I'm down below the wall. So that's why yeah, he's right next to me. Oh, yeah. I don't... Oh, okay. Um, I don't see I will... You, you heard a horn, and then a we've got company, and then a... Followed by a boom. Are these windows yes. over here? Yes. Are they full pane windows or are they boarded up? They are they are pane windows that are currently shuttered. But that is easily remedied. Okay, I will I uh Twiggy, I assume you let me pass. I do. 15. I will as sneakily as I can kind of try to open the window to see out of it. Do I see any creature outside from this perspective? No, you do not. Because if you could, you would see them. Okay. Um, I don't see anybody out this way. They must be coming from a different direction. Um, and I will... <laughs> Let's see who remembers their Nero building fighting skills. <laughs> Everyone and but I Ace will... has had experience in this exact I... scenario. I'm going to... When did that last? I'll wait on that. I will uh, <laughs> touch myself and I will... Uh... uh Let's put it, let, actually, let's rephrase. I rub a piece of cured leather across me as I cast shield in this arcane globe. Or, sorry, uh, mm -hmm. mage mm -hmm. armor. Actually. Mage armor, got it. Mage armor. So I now have mage armor active. Yay! Uh, Luther, you're up. And I know I made it worse, Luther. <laughs> that was the intent. So that was a move and a bonus action. Okay. Do we know what we're dealing with? I guess you say that to Blaze? Yes. Uh, that it, yeah, that's Blaze in front of me. She yells, Marcus! And Marcus yells back, Necroficers! And she goes, Necroficers! Necrowatsers? And that's six Why seconds. Next is... <laughs> this guy. His movement should not be that fast. And Vanwath is up. Okay. All right. Sorry. Do you want to get moved out of the? There you go. Yeah. What's a necropicer? I'm assuming that was billowed. Yeah. And you would have asked that at the end of the six seconds, so you'll still get your answer next turn. Yep. Uh, Twiggy. Okay. Twiggy is... So we haven't have anything in the windows to the east here 
There's no window at all to the north? There's windows there, but they're also shuttered. You they're haven't seen shuttered. anything come by yet. Okay. And this blacked out room between the entranceway and where we are, we don't know what this room is? Correct. You just know that the door is locked. Door is locked. Okay. Not gonna fuck with the locked door. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna make those locked so you guys can't accidentally can't go into them. And that's fine. There you go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Mm. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna get a move on then. There you go. Oops. Gonna move. I think I can get to here. Mm-hmm. Can I go any farther? I'm not very good at measuring on this thing yet. Um, I think I can enter the room, but I think that's about as far as I get. Yeah, without using your action as another move, that would be as far as you'll get. It's right on the other side of the door. Boom. Okay, so in here, now I see we have Luther and Fox and that, and the door is shut and locked. And... I am going to actually use my second half of the action to put myself in this doorway if I can. Okay. Yeah, that's that's where I'm going. Cool. Uh, Adaya. Uh, so we hear the word necrophages at the end of the round, right? Yeah. Like that's the last thing that happens. Pretty much. Okay. Can we so, make any checks about those things? No, well, you, you would have no way of passing because you would have never heard of it. No, okay, no problem. Um, I was going to say possibly at the end of the round, but uh, not knowing else what else, blah, 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 not knowing what else is going on, uh, probably the first thing I would do is pop back into Cass's head. Okay. Um, and wait to see what I find out. Fair enough. What's going on. So, I mean, if I hear Boop. necrophysis at the end and have time to make a check for what it is, I can do that. But... Um, there will be no checks because you guys will have no clue what it is. Okay. And there's your rock. Thank you. We'll keep your same initiative, though. Okay. okay. Speedy rock. I mean, still last, but speedy for a rock. <laughs> it's a good rock. Good. But I know that I don't know what the word is. Correct. You are very that's, you are very certain that you don't know what the what the word that, is. That's information too. Just pointing that out. Um everyone that's in the the um Venother Fox Twiggy room. Yeah. Um here's a splash and a hissing noise coming from the foyer. Ooh. Oh no, Polly! I was just about to say the mimic. These guys rolled surprisingly consistent. It's not gonna help them. Uh, Alexander holds his turn. I'm going to say that was sufficient. You hear um, a sound of glass breaking. Followed by um, Marcus yelling in pain. In Marcus is where exactly he was uh you would you would be able to tell that he is in the kitchen oh he is in the kitchen okay yeah missed that one somehow or it just doesn't have an initiative yeah. it's just not gonna bother the girl there you go it's it's too confused okay top of the turn and Cass, mm -hmm. you see something run past in the street. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Marcus. Okay, the token on the map is much more disgusting than the picture in the little bottom left, because the little bottom left is actually pretty damn The picture damn is cute. so cute, right? <laughs> I want the picture on the bottom left. The thing on the map, I do not want. <laughs> uh, Marcus um, manages to 
put away his bow and draw his sword and clumsily stabs at um, whatever is in the kitchen, which no one has seen. Birdie runs over, steps into the kitchen. And doesn't do much. Apparently I have line of sight to that. To what? Oh, this one out through the window, through yeah. the door, through the wall, through the Yeah, I would I would say that. Um roll a investigation. Seventeen. Not that, a good bad roll. Um, what you see through the window is a flesh golem. Ew. Hmm. Uh, I can relay that correctly. Yep. Flesh golem. Look at it. And uh, a uh, Ace, you can also roll for Ace, and Ari can roll for. The thing that ran past. And I apologize. What is it again that I'm rolling? Investigation. Yeah, start investigation. Because this is neither religion nor nature. Ain't nothing natural or religious about it. There you go. There you go, Adaya. Uh, both of you know that that was a flesh golem uh, of a dog. So does it look more like cool. the picture or what's on no. the thing? No. I mean, it looks <laughs> like the picture in that it is several dogs stitched together, but it's not as cute it, as Bowser there it, on I was the about picture. To say, if it's not cute, then I don't want to tame it. It's not cute. You don't want to tame it. Okay. What, what do I know about them in relation to, is it something more likely to have been done by devils or by humans? By humans. This is definitely That's stupid human assume. shit. This is stupid human necromancy. This is okay. definitely stupid human shit. This is necromancy. Yeah. This is the other game necromancy. Yeah, this, okay. is, this is necromancy. Just making sure I, I understand. Flesh Golem goes, charges through the door that has been weakened by acid, makes it as far as this other door, which provokes an attack from the invisible... Polly. Yay, Yay go, Polly, go. Polly. Caution, tripping hazard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Caution, imminent stomach acid damage. Not the best damage, but, you know, better than nothing. It hurt. I mean, necros are wizards. They're just necro wizards. Necro wizards. All right. Uh, Cass, you are up. Wonderful. Okay. Um, since it's in my head, can I speak instantaneously to Adaya? Yes. Okay. Deal with Pupper or out to the main? not to me that was helpful okay um screw the pupper i'm going outside okay so one or five ten oh god i don't see anyone okay 15 20 25 <laughs> i see people 30 i will go there um <laughs> and you can see the one there in the doorway okay i will Well, since that's the only one I see, I'm not going to go big off the bat. What am I seeing? I apologize. That's a flesh golem, right? That is yes. a flesh golem. Okay. Um, I will use firebolt. Hey, on it. roll over picture and everything. Oh, I'm sorry. That is an armored flesh golem. It is. I'll still use firebolt. That's what picture says. Should be fine. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, that was almost so good. Oh, wait, it still hits. Yeah, they're armor class nine. Okay, so then I will damage normal. Nice! Good job. Um, hold on. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. Oh, uh. I will, with my spell book, I will use my reaction and okay. expend one charge of the spell book to do an extra 2d6 force and knock it prone. Okay. Knock it prone in front of the mic. <laughs> Not bad. I'll, I'll apply that. And that is my turn. Okie doke. Um, Luther, you are up. Van, you got this? You go. That's an action. Bonus action to move in. Ooh, wait. Yes. She'll, she'll let you through. Yeah. But moving anywhere else, I would be... Can I move up? No, I can't. I have to... Hmm. Yeah, I just we would be squeezing into the space, which would cause disadvantage until she backs up. Right. You no, know, I can live with that for a second. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Hmm. So that was my bonus action to get there, and I'm going to attack the uppers. Yep. Oh, these things are ugly. Yes, they are. <laughs> What, what you're, see that, what you're seeing is a half dozen feral scavenger dogs that were all torn apart and stitched back together in different orders. Please. So you rolled an 11 or an 11, it looks like. Yeah, I got an 18. I mean, I don't think you can miss these. It told me I did. Challenge accepted. Their like armor class is 13. Yeah, I'm You have just... yourself selected. Yes, you would have missed yourself. I have... Okay. I, I, like oh, the, I hate it when that, that happens. The arrows that are around are around the pupper, so I, I thought I had him selected. Okay. Well, you would have hit him, so go ahead. Their, their armor class is better. It's a 13. You still would have hit him. Wait, where the hell are you? He's in the kitchen. In the next room. Behind uh, us. Okay. That's why I can't see him. I mean, I saw him go that way. Yeah, but, I did not. But I can't see in the door from here. So either. roll your damage for the for the death pup. Eleven. Hopefully, it applied. Dead. Again. Get re dead. Some more. More thoroughly. Proper dead. So I, I has a question. Am I able to use the rest of that bonus action movement to take a step forward now that it's dead? Sure. I like lunge into the attack. <laughs> step into it. That's a very Morton thing to do. It is. All <sighs> right. Um. Mm. Da, 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 Van Wath. Okay. Um. There, there is no room in between. It's in the door and uh, Blaze and Alexander are blocking it, correct? It is in the door and prone, which means you can cross over it if you want. Uh, and both of them will let you through. Or you can stay in their squares until they activate, but you will have disadvantage. Mm, I think I'm actually going to push through and try to block the door. Okay. Oh, apparently I'm attempting to move through a wall there. I can move you through yeah. the wall. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So you are now the door. Okay. Congratulations. You're in a door fight in the cabin. It's a door <laughs> fight in the inn, Gray. We've never done this. We've yeah. never done this. Uh, to totally green at this. Is the door still so, intact so or that is every it gone? Oh, no, it's gone. It, it, okay. it, was, it was splashed with acid and then stumbled through by an armored zombie. 
for for those who don't know, this scenario right here is actually how Gray and I met 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. One fate for Cidius. I I turtle. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Rose. All right, um, Twiggy, you are up. Okay, that's okay. Twiggy on the move, going down. Down, dooby do, down, down. Ooh, not that far down. No, don't close the door. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so. The reason why I keep have... helping people with the movement is this building is tight and they don't line up on the squares and my move allows overrides so I can pull you places where you wouldn't necessarily be able to move because I know where you're going. Right. right. So, all right, I have I see an Echo. I see a a Marcus Flesh Golem and something in a hoodie and cape. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Alrighty. And there's a dead dog. Uh, the thing in in the hood and the cape is actually you can tell is human. Is human, okay. There are enough room for me to get up there. I see up oh, there's there's Birdie, and I know somewhere in this room is Luther. But Luther is under the skull. Okay, Luther is under the skull. Okay. <laughs> you would be there and kind of like against that wall. All right, but I could swing and hit the. Flash uh, golem from here? Yeah, I'll give you the one that's in the window, not the one that's directly to your left. Because that would be through the wall. Okay. Like, you could get this guy here. Yeah. Alright. Selecting target. No, not target me. Target him. Uh, Inventory... Let's go, Spoon. Attack. Normal attack. Probably still gonna hit. <laughs> okay. Because of your new strength bonus. That's true. Yes, I'm not applying any of my strength <clears throat> bonus or anything here. Right. And then damage. Because you would have had a plus four to hit because of your strength. And uh, is there a plus two damage for the yep. strength as well? Yes. So. Be a six. Yeah, there you go. And you have a plus one on your next roll, thanks to Rose. Oh, thank you, Rose. And with that, we will shout, stir it up at the spoon and uh, allow it to do its thing. Go spoon. That was a move and attack. Uh, does Marcus look particularly haggard or anything, or has he just got a boo boo? Um, he is not bloodied. Okay. He is unhappy, but he is not bloodied. Okay. Unhappy, one stage four bloodied. <laughs> I mean. Spoon is unfortunately moving next turn because Spoon has a higher initiative. Than not. You. Yeah, I rolled pretty low. That's okay. Um. I am going to delete Echo off the board because technically Echo would not be in that room. That's fair. No, Echo came to get her her little gems of sweets and, you know, stopping bleedings. So. All right, change of plans. I can't delete it, so I'm just moving it towards me. That's fine. Echo's like, I'm out of here. What? Don't mind me. I'm gonna go get my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Sorry. <laughs> All right, and we are going to attack Greymain with a ray of sickness. You get wrecked. I believe Getting that. Down with I believe that misses. A thirteen. Uh, AC is yeah. eighteen. Yeah. So no. Okay. You are not wearing the other arm, right? I am not. No, he's still wearing his colander. <laughs> <laughs> um, the neck, the the adept that's outside the window, towards you, Twiggy and, um, Marcus, because it can't see Luther from where it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the wall right there. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, I need both of you to make a dexterity saving throw. So the way you do that is go to your character sheet on your attributes, click on the word dexterity, and then you'll see what type of check, ability check, or saving throw, and then roll for the saving throw. And Twiggy, you have a plus one on it. Yes. You succeed. Um, Marcus does not. Oh no. Marcus is about to be less happy with his health condition. But fortunately, barely gets touched. Okay, good. Do I have to take half or anything? No. Okay, good. If you succeed, you take no damage. Basically, there's just a bubbling spray of acid that kind of splashes through the window and uh, does not do much. Flesh Golem roars onto... onto Gray. That's going to miss. Fortunately, it gets to do two. That's going to miss. Behold my awesome shield work of planting it in the doorway. Yeah. Uh, Alexander is going to castle with Blaze. And he's going to attack armor on armor. And he has a lot of advantage on this attack. Nice. I'm glad you have the advantage. Yay, advantage. Ooh. Ooh. I, I'm apparently being hit with Can Thunder Gauntlet. No, you're not. Oh, okay. Looks like that might hurt. Like, uh oh. It's also not Thunder Gauntlets. It's just the closest thing that was already in existence. It's the... the gotcha. Guardian Artificer Armors Punch Attacks. Oh, uh, the armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as soon as he said that character was a nerd, I'm like, I know which character this is. Uh, and this guy is going to try to slam Marcus through the window. He has disadvantage because he's trying to reach through the window. Which is the only reason he misses. But he gets to do it twice. Oy. And Marcus is very happy at the moment that that was disadvantaged. Pesky windows confusing things. <laughs> She's going to move before she does this attack. So I'm just going to roll. And that will just barely hit. And that will just barely damage. But it, it, but it is fire. I am familiar with fire damage. <laughs> Vulnerable to damage means they take double. Double, yep. And, uh, Gray, I think you're more, uh, familiar with piercing more than uh, anything. Unfortunately, double not much is still not much, but. And she will have moved back to there. Vanwith is actually more familiar with piercing. I, 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 Gray, am familiar with oh, fire. Fair enough, fair enough. What, ooh, fire burns. What, what did, what does it do? Fire Adds 1d8 fire damage to a player of choice next attack. And which player of choice? I'll pick it myself. Okay. Fire burns I is a good choice. Do fire. fire burns is nice. I'm like, I got three of them. I might as well use one just to make sure. Scorch it's also I would like had one. I would like to also add to Luther. Ooh, so that's 2d8. <laughs> 2D oh. on top of sneak attack. This is gonna be fun. Ooh, ooh. I, I, I have the uh, add 1D8 fire damage to player's choice too. Okay. 
Are you also going to add it to him, or are you going to save it for your own? Uh, I'll throw it on him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we talked about no burning things. So that is, <laughs> that is 3d8 uh, being added to Borden's next attack, so he better pick a good target. Uh, I, I think I have one target in front of me that I can hit. And we are at the top of the initiative. I'm just waiting to hear the whoosh of the backdraft and the fire uh, superheated displacement of air. Twiggy, um, um, Marcus is going to step back, switch to his bow. Because he is tired of this shit. I can relate, Marcus. I can relate. And he's going to fire a bursting arrow. Which will hit. And that will wind up catching both of those targets. Nice. So he shoots a he shoots a arrow out the window, um, striking the wall on the other side of the alley. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then both the uh, adept and the flesh golem will take two d six force damage as they're slammed into the wall. Well, not. And the the um, adept is bloodied. Nice, but I can't see him to hit him. I need, a, I need at least one turn to deal with Flesh Golem before I can deal with him. Birdie seems to disappear from behind you. I'll explain is what this, happens later. Is this door actually closed behind me? No. Okay, yeah, because I couldn't see. Um, uh, somehow that door got closed. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but that's fine. Um, no, she has to do her use it as her action at the moment, so that's that's all she's gonna do. Um, time for a spoon. Spoon. Spoon will attack the guy that is left. Or the 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 um the adept spoon hits. Oh wait, spoon has advantage. The advantage of the fact that nobody attacks to get atta- expects to get attacked by a flying spoon. Um, advantage of the fact that it accident I accidentally moved it to be kind of like on the exact opposite side of this guy as where um. Ah, flanking. Where, where mm-hmm. um, Birdie is. So, accidental flanking. Accidental flanking by a spoon. No one expects a Spanish spoon to position. <laughs> there you go. Bad. Minotaur gloves doing their job with the spoon. <laughs> right? Not enough to kill him, but enough to make it look good. Enough to make him unhappy. Oh, he is very unhappy. He is like triple bloodied. Cass, you are up. All righty. So just so I rem, because I think I had to dip away last time. Right there is the front door to this place, right? Correct. Correct. And that's the only door to this place, right? Correct. <laughs> no problem, Bacon. Make sure you All catch right. the rest on the VOD tomorrow. All right, I am going to... And this guy is not even bloodied yet, right? No. All right. These um, things are tough. By the way, they're also lesser flesh golems. They're not the full flesh golem cards, but they're I still tough. So. I was, uh, when you said flesh golem, I'm like, uh, uh, uh like CR7? 
<laughs> Each? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do... I still got two people in front of me dealing with it, so I'm gonna just do Firebolt at it. Go for it. Fire bad. That'll hit. And I'll add the double in. Sweet. And uh, that's all I'm going to do at this point. And it is now bloodied. Uh, yeah. I'm actually going to move over just so I can see down into the kitchen if I need to. Okay, no. And that will be my turn. And Luther. Uh, Luther's going to stab the flesh golem in front of him. Go for it. You're gonna make him explode. Good. That was almost a crit, but it's a hit. So now do your damage plus your sneak attack plus 3d8 fire damage, which means plus 68. You want me to roll the d8 separately because that damage has to be tracked separately? No, that's why I said this. if you want to roll 3d8, that's fine, and then we'll double those d8s. Or you can just roll 68. I'm okay either way. It depends on if you want to roll more dice at once or not. More dice! So many dice. More dice! Alright, so that's 50 oh points God, of damage. Of so he is quite bloodied. It didn't all track, however. But that's okay. I can go in and fix him. It got confused by that many dice. It did. <laughs> Twiggy, what was in that cookie you gave me yesterday? <laughs> Off the pepper. 50 points of damage. Captain Overkill. Except it wasn't, because he's still alive. Okay. Uh, Armored Flesh Golem is going to try to pound on... Um, uh, Alexander. Pound on Alexander. He's nice. And that'll hit. Don't do it. And that will critically fail. I mean, that part's here. Zone falls off. The stitch is ripped. All the no. other good fun stuff they used to say. <laughs> that means next turn he'll go behind the mimic instead of in front of it. Right. Ooh. And 14 points of damage to Alexander, who was healed Ooh. after last time, just down to seven, and once again complains, Oh, stop it with the hitting me! You know, what would really have been funny if I had noticed I had that card is I had the card that makes you auto crit. Ouch. That would have been good. That, that, had, that would have been, that would have been something. That would have been hilarious. All right. All right. Uh, time for Polly to attack. Oh, Polly, yo. With advantage. Good which makes it an 18 instead of a one. We don't want the carpet to slow down. Mm. And t -t 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 Twiggy. No, it is I, the Twiggy. Okay. So for where I'm at in this kitchen right now, can I in fact uh, do a a line thing if I wanted to from maybe this one? I do. No, measuring, measuring ray template because. It would be. Yeah. Can I get them both with a Natasha breath? Uh, it's not really. Okay. 
unfortunately. Like it's, I, I want to argue in favor of it, but it's honestly not even close. Senator, to Senator. No worries. We will just then go ahead and we'll save the spell. We will cleaver chop. All uh, right. There no. is a way that you can get them both in the same shot. If you can okay. see the, the line that I just put up. Okay. So it is possible. Would I be damaging my spoon at all then? No, your spoon's location, neither your spoon's um, square nor birdie's square is affected. All right, right. Then, 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 then yes, I want to do that. You can move me wherever that needs Didn't to need happen. Didn't need to move. From where you are, it works. Okay. So, not sure how to make all of that happen. But for Tasha, because uh, I'm just, there is... I pull out of one of my satchels a thing I made last night. It is a rather hard uh, biscuit like thing just uh, made of suet not just uh, anything else. So it's got a skin on it and I will take that and okay. I will bite into it and it will start leaking green gravy Ew. and then I will go and burp right at him and it is it is Tasha's acoustic brew. There we go. They we both, were just talking about that. They both must make a saving throw. They yes, because this is a stream of acid thirty feet long. Uh do, 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 do. each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw or be covered in acid for the spell's duration, which can be up to a minute with concentration. Oof. Unless the creature uses an action to scrape it off or wash off the acid or wash it, if another creature um, washes it off. The adept passes, the golem does not. Okay, well then it takes 2d4 damage at the start of each of its turn for yep. the next minute. Yep. Uh, and do I have any action left at all right now? Could I toss uh, uh, a boo-boo biscuit to Marcus? There you go, Gray. Um, I'll let you do that. That's fine. Okay. I'm like, it's a bubble biscuit, and I just chuck it at him. Okay. It, for I'm, him to I'm do. Not, what I'm on it either, Gray. <laughs> well, you're you're not on it because we removed you from the the field. Apparently, I oh, thought I thought that you would still be in it, but you're not. That's fine. So. Okay. That's my turn. That's what I did. Do you remember what your initiative was? was. Uh, if not, 14? Fair enough. 13, I think. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it's not like I was going to do that much to this point anyway. It's not a big deal. But. But uh, if I could know who I was before or after, it could affect. So now we know I just need to not actually remove your marker from the fight. You can keep moving around the rock and... Okay. Okay. And now I've clicked back on the rock so I can see what the rock sees. Right. Um, so where does that put me in the lineup? Um, legitimately right now after Twiggy, but before the, anything else attacks. Luther, you okay. have a plus one and on your next. Flesh golem, the flesh golem had already attacked. Yes. The flesh golem was before me. Um, and what was the answer to her tossing Marcus a biscuit? Yes, the answer was yes. She was able to do. So, she was able to do so. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. So um, I got a couple questions. One, how tall are the ceilings in here? Not tall enough for you to fly safely. Okay. Because they're also um, not wide enough for you to fly safely. Right. So I can't really like. I don't have extra maneuvering space. No. Maneuvering. Um, also, uh, if I were, um, holding an action for an interrupt, does that carry over into next round? Yes. Okay. So, like, I can hold it as an interrupt to try and, like, intercept the next attack to make it work or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you, you could do your move, and then you could do a, you could reserve an action. But I'd still have to move first. Yeah. You can either hold your entire initiative... Or you can move and reserve the action. The reserve is the interrupt. Oh, it's so confusing. Okay. Um, 
Um, no, I'll just I'll just still wait for now. Okay. I do have to step away for one second though. Go ahead. What spells does he have left that he hasn't shot at eight at um gray? I mean, well, these are cantrips. He can just keep doing it. Uh, Gray, please make a constitution save. Okay. Uh, let's see. Attribute, uh, um, just click con, correct? Yep, click con, and it'll ask what kind of test do you want to make. And saving throw. Yeah. Sufficient. <laughs> All right, so this guy here... Who is bloodied as hell. And is only alive he covered because... covered in acid. And is only alive because he passed a, say, a check. <laughs> and is not currently in... Base to base with anybody that can see him. Uh, is going to cast Expeditious Retreat on himself. Well, I could see him. He was in my line of sight. Yeah, but he no, wasn't in base to base. Oh, yeah, base to base. He wasn't right, close right, right. enough to get a, an opportunity no, no. to attack on him. And I, I can't reach around the wall to hit him even if right. I can see his shadow. And right. he's going to dash. He door dashing. Like, Hi. Which is very unfortunate for him. Oh, no. Yeah, he's not going to get very far. I mean... He, he had a good idea, but he didn't realize Birdie was out there. He's still there. <laughs> and her action was held, so she can things. go now. Yeah. And Birdie is going to swift stride the shit out of him. Oh no. She's just gonna run him down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, he was just outside of her normal movement range. <laughs> I'm just going to assume there has to be a since I don't didn't don't have her spell book in here, I'm gonna assume there has to be a druidic cantrip that can manage to do two points of damage. Mm. Yeah, and he's dead. Yeah, like fine whip or something. Yeah, like there's they they have a few. Yeah, yeah. she's only ten Control feet away. Play. I'm guaranteed there's something that can do two points to him, and he's dead. Shillelagh, call bonfire, yeah. produce flame. Oh there's yeah, call bonfire. That'll do it. Yeah, classic. Because that one's literally they they the manually throwing the flame, whereas with there's flame they can just shoot it. But whatever. So Call bonfire is fun. So <laughs> she calls down a bonfire in his square, which means at the start of his turn, he'll take damage and be dead. So he is dead. 